Awesome. So, hey guys, welcome to this month's team teams meeting. Um, like I mentioned before I started recording, I am visiting family in North Carolina. So my usual setup is not here, but, and I do have my notes on my phone. So that's what I'll be having my phone in my hand. So first things first, a couple of announcements. Um, in-person SFR has closed the registration for that. Um, but they are accepting walk-ins. So if you decide you can come in person, you can still come and technically walk in. Um, virtual registration is still open. So you can still sign up for that until like, I think it's like a week until SFR. Um, don't quote me on both of those. I know the virtual option of just the virtual, like the 50 whatever, dollar option that is going to be up until it closes but the 350 the bigger one I think you have to do a little bit ahead of time but if you're even thinking about it go ahead and check out your events tab on your workstation that's going to have all the details um, if you are in person signed up we do have a group for in-person attendees that is just a group that we can talk to y'all while we're there we, y'all can talk to each other if you still need a roommate or you're still you need help finding something whatever it is um, that group is there. It is linked in the email that I sent today. If you don't have it, um, you can message me or Anya and we can send it to you. Um, we also have our t-shirts available for purchase. So we did team shirts. We did a super cute bright blue with pink and yellow writing, um, that has a little bar on it. That's so cute. And it can be worn literally anytime. Um, those, that link is pinned to the top of the group in Simply Grace and Grit and in Wildflower Warriors, and you can get those shirts until the 20th. So they do close on the 20th. Want, the way that expertise works is once you, uh, purchase your shirt, it pretty much like sits in a queue. And then on the 20th, they take the entire order, make them, and then bulk ship them out. And it's all done together. So it's not like Scentsy wear you order and they do it um, because we do have a minimum that we have to hit as a group um, for those two for our price point if you've looked at it it's a really great price point this this year um, we've never had this brand of shirts but for the color we wanted that's what they could offer so we went with it but I'm super excited um, and that is a tax write-off for your business so um, keep that in person too keep that in person keep that in mind too when you're shopping um, for those, we'll also probably be sharing those outside our group just because we didn't put specific names on them this year. Um, so maybe another team in our group will join us with those, but um, just know that you can send that out to your teammates that if they're not, they don't, maybe they don't even know what SFR is, but anyone is welcome to purchase it. Um, the Upcoming meetings we have this this month, leaders meeting on June 18th, and then we have a working hour on June 24th. Um, also, it happened while we were gone, but the bring back my bar option for consultants is available where you can purchase the bundle of every single bar that's coming back and to utilize that in your business. That is a hefty, it's a hefty price to pay. So uh, I personally always offer splits and other people in our group too do too. So maybe you're wanting to do that, but you don't want to invest that much. Um, post to your pages, talk to your teammates and figure out what's best for you. Even if you have some teamies local, see if they want to do a split with you. Um, utilizing that bring back my bar, it can be the huge difference maker in your sales. Okay. And maybe again, like I said, you don't want to invest the whole, I think it's $126. You can split that up with people um, so that you're still able to at least smell them yourself or sample out a couple to maybe your clubbers or something like that. So those are all of my announcements. Um, I think, let me look at my list real quick. Yep, that's all of them. So um, this meeting is going to be fun. <laughs> we actually were already talking about it before we started recording, but we just got back from our Hawaii incentive trip. Um, I am going to tell y'all a little bit about what we did. I know that y'all were probably watching us, um, but I want to share about it because we have a lot of new people. We have a majority of us have never been on an incentive trip. Um 
And then we're going to talk about what we're doing now to help us plan and prepare for the next trip incentive. Okay. Um, because what you're doing now in your business is going to matter for when it's time to earn a trip. Okay. We don't just work dur during the fall. Um, that is our hyper uh, season for lack of better words. It's the time of year where we do have more sales in our business, but what you do in the spring and summer is very important to the success of your fall and winter. So first things first, Hawaii was amazing. We, if you saw our pictures, go through it. Me, Anya, Megan, and Martha were the ones from our group that attended. Um, we did have a few other earners, but they're taking SFR. So I can't wait for them to share their SFR experience with you. Um, but all of us were there in Cabo last year. So they said it while we were there, but once you earn an incentive trip, you're never not going to want to earn one. You're not going to want to miss it. You're not going to want to ever live your life without them. Um, they did, I, in my opinion, do it big for the 20 year. Um, the first night that we had anything with Cincy, um, was, a, they called it a mix and mingle. And we went into this ballroom into the, um, hotel and we were, given lays from um home office which was so fun and so cool to see them um we got our information for our excursion and then we walked in and there were a few booths and we walked around to different booths and um got to pick our gifts from Scentsy so if you didn't see we got a I think it's called Island Adventure is the brand super popular in Hawaii um, we, you got to pick a color of that. So you got a bag. Then we went over and picked sunglasses. There were just a, an array of Maui Jim sunglasses that we got to pick from. We got to try them on, figure out which ones we wanted. Um, they came in this, I mean, honestly, like the, this sounds silly, but the carrier, the sunglasses came in, even has Scentsy on it, like every single detail, just they don't miss one. Um, so we got Maui Jim sunglasses for us and our guest. Um, then we also got little hand sunscreen. And then we also got to pick our, um, is Martha on here? What is the brand of this, the flip flops? We got to pick our color. So I got pink. I think Eric got black. Um, it's like the hook from Moana. If there are any people from Hawaii on here. Um, that's the brand of them. I don't have the chat up. I see people are coming in, but it is all, everything that we got, it went with our trip, right? So we could use all of those things throughout our trip. They were all Hawaii based slippers. Yes. Um, that's what they call them in Hawaii. They were all Hawaiian based companies, authentic to where we were. Um, and then of course they had food because Scentsy always has food. Like they always have food that if you're not ever going to leave an event that you attend hungry. Um, but that was a mix and mingle. And that was just to start the trip. So if you saw, we also got room drops which were amazing. I'm hoping that Megan, Anya, and Martha will also go live and share their experiences. Um, but we were spoiled from the minute we saw home office, literally to the last minute we saw home office. So we had the mix and mingle. Then we had a breakfast the next morning um, where it was just a welcome. So they fed us and sent us on our way pretty much. Um, and then we had our excursions, which that excursion was like what I envisioned Hawaii to be. I had never been to Hawaii and that excursion, even just the drive out there, I was like, this is like storybook movie. This is what, this is it. This is it. So just seeing the Island away from our resort was amazing. Getting, to, getting to experience the secret beach. I mean, guys, there is just so much. I can't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you about it all night, but I do want you I hope that I could just share just a little bit of the gratefulness that I personally had, and I'm sure the others had too, with um, this incentive trip because they didn't miss a detail. They sent us off with a luau, which Martha att attended the group, but she 
has been to many luau's and she was like that was so nice like that's not a typical luau that's like we had merle no merle wants to be on camera um we had fish we had pork we had beef we had chicken we had tuna we had dessert we had everything hold on a minute he's not gonna stop till wait a minute there's always a dog barking i know Come on. He wants to know who I'm talking to. Come here. Um, they had, and excuse me for my ignorance of vocabulary with this because I don't know what they're called, but they had the little girls dancing, they had the men dancing, they had the women dancing, they had the fire, they had the Scentsy light up, and then we had fireworks, which is like becoming a thing with Scentsy and me where I'm like we gotta have the fireworks we gotta have yes all the entertainment like Anya said there was never a moment where I didn't feel appreciated um by our home office so all of that to say that you don't want to miss the Scentsy incentive trips the the people who earn Hawaii were the 0.4 top 0.4 percent of the company for that incentive period which is amazing um, but I want y'all to know that while that number may seem really small, anybody that's here attending tonight can be that next year. Okay. What we do in our business, like I said, now is going to affect how successful we are in the fall and winter. Now, can a new person that comes in fall and winter front earn the incentives? Absolutely. But if we're talking trip earners, top tier, um, I will never tell you an incentive trip is easy, especially Hawaii was probably the hardest one I've ever tried for or worked for. Um, but the way that incentive, um, the way I missed that comment and I can't get squirrely. Um, the way that incentives are set up, they are all off a point system. And I think everyone was here for the last one that I see online, just from a quick glance but it's off of prv so that's one for one in the u.s so one prv is one point um personal promotion so if you promote during the incentive period you get a certain amount of points paid at title points so if you're a lead consultant and above you'll for that month you'll get points um and this past time, they were really, they'll always do something a little bit different, right? So we never know exactly how to earn it until they they share the point system. But for Hawaii, they were very, very focused on lead consultant promotions. So not only for certifieds, but to be, and essential to become lead, but for your frontline to become lead consultant, okay? They were really, really heavy on it. Like you, it could be the difference maker of level one and two and three it could be it could be a huge difference maker um honestly the way and i'll speak for myself the way they had that set up that's how i earned level two because i had so many people promote to lead now i those weren't the people that i promoted during or that i sponsored during that time frame a lot of those people were people that had been around a while and had decided to then promote to lead right so i want y'all to keep that in mind when we're talking about this coming up because um for this last incentive, we as leaders, and this isn't a leaders meeting, it's a team meeting, but as leaders, we didn't get promotion points for our frontline promoting past lead. Okay. I think it was lead this year, right? Maybe star, but it was very, very heavy on the lead. And it was, um, I won't say her name, but I had a rock star frontline promote from all the way from, she had already hit lead to almost superstar consultant. Okay. And there were no points involved with that, right? So there's always going to be something that they're focused on. And we're not going to focus so much on the points now, but just know that the things that we always are talking about, you've all heard this, PRV, sponsoring and coaching and training, those three things, that is what the system, the point system is based off of. So what are we going to do now, right? In the spring, when, depending on who you talk to, things are a little slower or, there's not as many customers there's and honestly there's people aren't at home as much they're not um looking to stay at home they're on the go it's summer break they're wanting to be out of their house because the weather's nice right but as a business owner we don't just work our business 
one season or two seasons a year. We have to work it all year round. So some of the things that I wrote down and I want y'all to write these down too is what we're doing now. So new customers now that you're getting in last month through the next few months, they're going to be your host or your new teamies in the fall. Okay. So that's why we're still building our customer base. We're still focusing on the new customers, right? We want to give them that customer service that they know what Scentsy is about and that they want to be a part of this. Or maybe they don't even want to be a consultant, but they want to be a host. They want to get the perks, right? And so that's why it's so important that we are still getting those new customers. Well, how are you going to get new customers? We're going to party. We're going to go to events. We're going to do the things that we talk about all the time while networking and getting those new customers. New teamies now, they're going to be the promotions in the fall, right? So a lot of times people will be like, oh, I'm going to only focus on sponsoring in fall and winter. Well, you're doing your business at a service because if you're consistently sponsoring, you're not only going to have your new people in the fall and winter, but you're going to have your spring and summer people who have been around a while and maybe they're ready to take their business to the next step by that point, right? Um, In the past, there have been a huge um, focus on frontline promotions. Again, we don't know what that will be for the next one, but setting your, your business up to having that strong foundation of new customers and new teamies is going to help you in the fall. Um, building your team now, just overall, not just your frontline, but building your team, showing up consistently, training and sharing, doing all those things that we teach y'all to do Maybe you're not getting paid at title. I mean, if you looked at the banner, there wasn't a lot of people paid at title last month. This let's just keep it what it is. But if you're focusing on that that building right now and building that foundation and still bringing in new people and making sure that you're widening your customer base and having those new customers come on, that's going to be what's going to help you be paid at title and promote in the fall. Okay. So again, what you're doing now matters. If you're not doing anything, if we're just sitting back and we're relying on club orders that we already have that are processing, or maybe we're just sharing on our VIP page. We're not sending emails. We're not booking parties. We're not doing those things. We need to start doing that. Um, the other part is everything that you're doing now with the 20 year incentive, all of that is showing us how to work our business too, right? So last month it was active. Yes. Yes. We always need to be active if we're building a business, if, especially if we're going to to earn a free trip with our company, you're going to have to be a lot more than active. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You're going to have to do a lot more than be active. Um, but if we're active and we have teenies active in the spring and summer, maybe they are ready to take that next step to the 500 to the 1K PRB in the fall and winter when things are booming, okay? So we're teaching them how to work their business here. So in the fall and winter, we can take it here. Okay. Um, so yeah, the 20 year incentive, all those little things that they, that they're giving you each month, even if you're brand new and you're watching this and you're like, Oh, well, I can't earn the incentive. Well, you can still learn how to build your business and work your business effectively. Right. Um, this month is focusing on the collection. That's a huge collection that comes out every single year. If you haven't shared that yet, if you haven't sold 20 items from that collection, let that be your focus. Um, if you have, shout yourself out in the comments. Congratulations for going ahead and earning that this month. That's a huge deal because it's only the 10th. Um, but that should be a focus for you and for your team and for your leaders that y'all are doing that. And not only are you doing it, but you're sharing how you're doing it, right? So when that harvest collection comes around, we're selling at least 20 items for that. When that holiday collection comes around, right, we're going to take these in little incentives and put it towards what we're going to do in the fall and winter to earn the trip. Um, what you're working on now will flourish in the fall. I think I already said that. So we're right now, the spring and summer is the time to plant. It's, to, it's the time to sow those seeds, right? It's time to plant them to water them, to give them sunshine, to do all of those things that you would do with a normal plant to then grow in the fall and winter. And I know that seems backwards because not a lot of stuff grows in fall and winter, but in Cincy land they do. Okay. So switch your, switch your, your seasons and know that what you're, what you're planning now, right? So those join conversations, planting those seeds with people, 
Hey, are you interested in doing this? However you ask that feels comfortable. No. Okay. No worries. Well, guess what? In the fall and winter, they may be ready. Okay. Because you've already planted that seed, that seed four or five months ago. They're going to see all the things you're doing between now and then. And a lot can change in that time frame. Okay. Think about how many times you told your sponsor no before you decided to do it. Or how many times you even thought about doing this business before you actually pulled the trigger to do it. Okay. Um, so things that we're planting now to harvest in the fall, we're intentionally working. That means, like I said, we're not just waiting on our Scentsy Club orders to roll through. We're not just posting and praying. We're not just, just. I mean, that's where we are right now. A lot of times when I'm talking to people, how are you working your business? I'm barely hanging on. I mean, how, how many of y'all feel that way? I'm barely hanging on. I'm barely doing the things that are getting me where I need to be. I hear that a lot. So if you feel that way, know that you're not alone in that feeling, but that you're the only one that can change that. Okay. And I know life is hard. I know that we're all going through stuff um, and know that we do care about that and what you're going through. And to move on in your business, we've got to learn to balance that. And that's not easy either. Okay. It's not easy, but we can do it. We can do it together and know that that hard work is going to pay off in the end when you're sitting in blank space, wherever the trip may be. Okay. Um, so we're not just taking what we're getting. We're not just sitting back and saying, oh, we're, I'll do that next month. We are proactively working on our business, right? And that's going to take goals. That's going to take um, accountability that a lot of people don't like to have. That's going to take time. Okay, so we have to give ourselves grace as we're getting back to hopefully working our business like we were doing. Um, and that's going to take the effort of when you don't want to. And I know that Anya did a great training on this not too long ago about working when you don't want to. Um, it's really focused energy and time on what matters in your business. We have to focus our energy and our time on what matters because if, let me see, um, if we're saying, oh my gosh, I'm working five hours a day in my business, but I'm not getting paid, right? I'm not getting paid what I think I should for the effort I'm putting in. Then that's when we have to have some, that self-reflection to say, okay, but what are we doing to work on our business? Are we actually working or are we just busy in our business, right? Are we doing the things that matter? Are we having the joint conversations? Are we asking people to party? How many people are we asking, right? Um, are we asking people to, to join our business? Are we sharing those things authentically with the Scentsy Life? Who, uh, I think it was Jennifer Peterson while we were gone, shared a challenge, something about your paycheck. Who shared that they did that, right? So that's where we as business owners have to keep ourselves accountable to say, I just spent two hours on a Canva graphic that I probably didn't need to do. I probably should have had 20 conversations in that time instead, right? And that's where we have to come along and do that for ourselves and for our business. So we're proactively working on our business on the things that matter. Oh, what is that? Something just came up on my computer. Hold on. I don't know what that means. Okay. Something about a Python. Join conversations, planting the seeds, having the new teenies join now. So, right, we have that time because a lot of times... I mean, it happened last month and it will happen, but usually people take time to promote, right? We want them to take time to promote. Let's be real. We want them to build that foundation. We want them to know how to big, how to build a big, long-standing business. To do that, that's going to take time. So if we're starting that now, when the time rolls around where we're getting points for those things, it's going to be great because they're going to have that foundation where they can continue to grow. And it's not just about points. It's about them having a long-standing business too. Um, and then we usually say party, but I'm trying to change that vocabulary to having people host for you. Okay. Because people don't like party for some reason. It's not cool anymore, but people are partying. We have to have hosts. We have to have those people who are going to introduce us to other people. We have to have those times where we're going out to events and we're just sharing our information and getting to know people, right? Um, so all of that to say that what you're doing now in your business is going to flourish in the fall and winter for when this next incentive trip comes around. Um, 
I have the chat down, so I'm going to go through that. Does anyone have anything else that they want to share on what they're intentionally doing now to help their business grow in the fall? And maybe you haven't even thought about that. Maybe that's not your mindset right now. That's okay. That's okay that that's not your mindset. But hopefully this meeting is a reminder that when we're working in our business, when we're planning out what we're doing in our business, that is important to do, okay? Especially when you're sitting and you're watching other people do things that you want to do in this business, like go on an incentive trip. That's what the focus needs to be. What can I do now? So when that comes back around, it's easier for me to, to get that, right? To get those goals. My computer is making a really weird noise, so hopefully it doesn't um, shut down. Yes, they were very high-end gifts at the incentive. They did. They spoiled us. Yep, Hawaiian companies. That, whatever Lauren said for the flip-flops. A loop, a loop. I'm going to butcher it, I know. Anybody, uh, let me get down to the bottom. Anybody else want to share? If you do, just unmute. I'm going through the comments on here. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, do the income producing activity. It's not just about adding to your numbers. You have to care enough to lead them well. Otherwise, we are icky MLMers. Yes, I'm trying to up the number of parties I'm doing. So I have a wide customer base in the fall. People host and join. Just booked a party while listening. I'm having several large fundraisers in hopes to get people addicted, but growing my customer base. I've struggled with getting parties this month, but my front, eh, my fundraiser should be awesome. Yes, I actually just booked a fundraiser last night when I couldn't go to sleep because I'm still home in Hawaiian time. Little things like looking for people to um sharing about what was it someone shared about like a pick your number have y'all seen like people ask for like this one's for a volleyball team like pick your number and then that's what you pay we're not allowed to do that by the way but for a fundraiser for a volleyball team and I just messaged her and I said I would love to do a Cincy fundraiser for the girls let me know if you're interested and she wrote me back first thing this morning and said yes I would love that thank you so much for even offering right what could she have said? She could have said no. And then she'd miss out on it. And I wrote her back and I was like, awesome. I'll just set him to set up an event and you get 25% of my commission. And she's like, what, what do you mean? Yes. Right. That's what we want to do. Anya's doing one for her sister's mission trip. And yes, you can do a fundraiser for anything. Um, the fundraising, like guidelines for that is all you have to do is have the permission from the person who you're um, raising money for. So maybe someone wants to raise money to go to California to save the sea lions. You could do a fundraiser for them, right? Um, maybe someone needs, and I've seen this, maybe someone needs grocery money next month. You could do a fundraiser for that. You could, it's like a GoFundMe, right? You purchase Cincy. I'm going to give them a portion of my, or whatever you decide on um, commission. Yes, you will have to give your commission up. But my thought on that is, and you don't have to give your commission up. Let me take that back. You can do whatever you want. You give them 5% of your commission, or you could give them the product and donate that um, as the free and half I thought half off items but the most successful fundraisers I've had is giving them the commission and the way that I see it is I wouldn't have that commission anyways without the fundraiser so why not use that to grow my customer base right um a food bank a fundraiser for a food bank um there is a whole fundraising group on Facebook too she's doing one for a high school cheer team so let's book some fundraisers right even if maybe people aren't partying. Maybe people aren't wanting to host for you. There's so many ways you can still grow your business. That's not what tonight's training is on because we have so many resources for that. If you're not sure about how to build your PRV or how to network um, or how to grow your customer base, you can search it on Wildflower Warriors or Simply Grace and Grit or get on YouTube and put that those exact words in. Okay. Um. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.